Star TV for Friday, January 13th, 1995, the day where bad luck seems to be at its greatest, bringing you this morning's news with Matthew Broda, Jason Storm, a special sports interview hosted by Gabe Yenshow, and weather with weatherman Nate Lanfrey. And now, bringing you all the news that's fit to read, it's Matthew Broda and Jason Storm. Hello and welcome to this edition of the WSTR Morning News for this Friday, January 13th, 1995. Matt, what do you have for us today? Well, Jason, attention seniors. Voting for the design for graduation announcements will be held during all three lunches on Tuesday, January 17th in the Commons. This will be the only opportunity to vote. See the choices in the display case in the Commons. Attention seniors, your cap and gown and announcement orders will be taken on Wednesday, January 18th during all three lunch periods in the Commons. A $40 deposit is needed to place your order. The announcements are in dis on display in the common showcase. Packets can be picked up yet today in the Performing Arts Center ticket booth. There will be a quest meeting after school on Tuesday, January 17th for all members of the Word Processing Committee. History Club will hold its first meeting on Wednesday, January 18th after school in Mr. Albright's room C-266. Decorating the history display case for February, as well as future projects, will be the topics for discussion. Attention all German students. There will be a German club meeting immediately after school, Wednesday, January 18th in room C-216. We are planning a German dinner, so try to make it. At this point in the program, we would like to show the first in the series of public service announcements from the Foreign Language Department. Most of us are quite familiar with the movie The Godfather, so the Foreign Language Department used this theme to emphasize their concerns about student behavior. It's almost time for classes to change. We've got to get out there for hall duty. I can't go out there. Oh, come on, Senora Jameson. Toughen up. You're a veteran teacher. You guys wouldn't last one day at Edgewood. Do you know how loud and crowded the hallways are there? I know. Do you remember the old building? The Bowman building where the halls were so quiet and serene? Nobody ever came over there unless they were a language student or a business student. Oh, here the seniors even scream in the halls. And it's only first semester. You're right. It was a lot quieter. The students just sashayed their way on the class. But here to see we were in the main drag by Friday, I'm shell-shocked. I don't know if any of us will ever be the same. Was it that different? Come on, Mary. All those crunches we've done, those ab crunches, they're going to pay off. We're conditioned. Here, have some chocolate. Oh, thank you. That'll help. Mm -mm. Doesn't seem to help. It's Friday. You know what that means. Yes. Madame, do you know whether there was a full moon last night? Uh, je ne sais pas. Oh, let's go. This is business. School business. Huh? To your positions. C'est dommage, mais c'est la vie et c'est la guerre. Allons enfants de la patrie. Join us next week for another thrilling episode of The Who Father. Thank you, Foreign Language Department. Please stay tuned next week for another edition of The Who Father. Attention Leadership Retreat attendees. Faculty and students who attended the 1994 Leadership Retreat are to attend a very important meeting at 7 p.m. Tuesday, January 17th in the Commons. It is crucial that everyone attend, so please try to remind your friends. Today is the last day to get your roster sheets turned in for the three-on-three -three basketball tournament here tomorrow night. Remember, everyone is invited to either play or watch. It's free. Prizes to the winners. For more details or a roster sheet, just stop by the Recreational Center office this morning. Hope to see each of you there. The Worcester High School Music Department is having their annual citrus sale now through January 29th. 
oranges, grapefruits, or combo packs are available with prices from $7 to $20. Contact any music department student or call 345-8602 to place an order. The Worcester wrestling team will be back in action this week at Doylestown, at the Doylestown Wrestling Invitational. Friday session starts at 5.30 p.m. Saturday session will start at noon and 7 p.m. Come and support the wrestling team at Doylestown. And now to Nate for some weather. Thank you, Jason. The weather today is, right now, is about 48 degrees, and we'll be getting warmer as the day progresses. And remember the old saying, if you don't like the weather in Ohio, wait five minutes. And now for your extended forecast for the weekend. There's a 50% chance of rain and a high of approximately 52 degrees. Saturday will be a chance of rain again with another high of approximately 50 degrees. And for Sunday, another chance of rain with a high of about 41 degrees. Well, that's all we have for you today here at WHS Weather. And now to Gabe for a special sports interview. Hello, we're uh, down here in the coach's office with uh, head coach of basketball, girls basketball, Mike. Gallagher, a great start, undefeated start. Uh, now, b before the game, what do you tell the girls in your pregame speech? Really what we do is, uh, Coach Pilsitz is in, in charge of uh, pregame and most of the pregame things, and he tells the girls to make sure that they get, really get rolling. Uh, in the past, I think we've come out flat because we didn't get warmed up uh, well enough. And then as we go to pregame, I always tell them the same thing. I stole from Coach Alberts. I tell them to play hard, play smart, and play together, and then we go. On the court, Everybody seems to be in sync. Uh, how does the team get that togetherness? Well, togetherness is a hard thing to do. Uh, I think the only way to really get that is if you're unselfish. And that's what we've preached to the girls. We don't care who scores the points for us as long as we score the points. We don't care who gets the assists as long as we get the assists. So we try to build on the, the uh, doesn't matter to an individual what happens. It matters to our team what happens. Coach Gallagher, what is your goal for this year? pretty simple thing. Uh, a lot of teams try and set a lot of different goals and several years back Mindy Menenhall told me one time don't set any more goals for us coach we're getting to Columbus or it's been an unsuccessful season. I don't exactly buy into that. Uh, we try to make sure that we're better today than we were yesterday and that we're going to be better tomorrow than we are today. State championship? Sure we're all thinking that in the back of our minds. Well, we all know that the girls are great athletes on the basketball floor but what makes them such great girls off the floor? Well, there's a lot of things that go into that. Uh, first off, they compete in more than one sport, most of them. Uh, so they're more well-rounded than just being a, a, a basketball court person. Um, they've got parents that care about them, and that makes a difference. Then they study. Uh, I did a, a grades report thing when they came out and checked uh, varsity grades, varsity grade point average, a cumulative 3.25 for the whole team. Those are great grades. And consequently, those kids aren't in trouble. Uh, they're not causing trouble with their parents. They're not uh, you know, getting themselves in any kind of problems. Uh, also, another thing that I think is when practice is over, they're not always finished. They'll play some two-on-two -two or they'll do some extra uh, strength, strength and uh, training or some stretching. Uh, some of them will go in the field house and do some extra running. So they're doing more uh, after practice is over sometimes to make sure that they are a good basketball team. Thanks a lot, Coach. Uh, good luck and all the best. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. No problem. Sadly, this edition of the Morning Announcements has come to a close, but I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my fellow anchorman, Jason Stork, a very happy birthday. Thank you. Well, that's all we have for you today for Friday, January 13th, 1995. For all the WSGR crew and staff, we wish you the safest of days.